Hi, I'm Mike, and today I'm gonna to show you how to adjust some cabinet doors so you don't have to fight with them anymore to get them open or closed. Hey, if this is your first time here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss anything. So these are high quality cabinets. There's a uh, fancy rope trim around them. You know, they're fancy. They're, uh, these are mirror lat cabinets, uh, solid doors, solid frames but they're a little bit jacked up. And what I mean by that is, if you look at this, this door here sticks out a little too far and it's noticeable. And then the gap is off. So if you look at the gap here, it's very small up on top, but as you go further down, it gets wider. I can stick my finger in the very bottom and the very top, I can hardly get anything in there. So the hinges on these things are adjustable and they're European hinges and they're, they're different styles. These, these are pretty high quality ones, but I'm gonna show you how to adjust these cabinets. Okay, so to take care of my problem with the cabinet door being out of plumb here, there's an adjustment on this hinge and it's this screw right here which controls the in and out movement. So the top of this is too far out. Now on some hinges, you'll just loosen this screw and then by hand you'll have to move the door in or out but this one actually rotates and moves the hinge for you. You can see it's being drawn in and if I if it's too far in I want to move it out I move it out so you can see the hinge moving and there's a probably an eighth of an inch of play there so if the door was binding I would move it out and again these are these are high quality hinges Usually you would just loosen the screw and then by hand pull the door in or out. So by rotating that in, that's bottomed out there. Okay, so the next adjustment is to fix this gap here in the door. And that is done by this screw right here. Uh, that will move the door right or left. So it's too far in, I'm gonna move this door back up straight so it's straight up and that's done by this screw and again usually you would just loosen the screw and you would by hand adjust the door where you need it but this one if you rotate it if i go clockwise it's actually pushing the door this way counterclockwise moves the door closer so i want the gap so i'm gonna adjust that a little bit that's much better, but I don't want to put it too far over where it really looks funky. So I'm going to adjust this door the same way and bring it out a little bit. And that looks pretty good. The tops of the doors are the same. The gap is uniform all the way across. So that looks good. Okay, so you can see now that my gap is uniform all the way down top to bottom that's good and the door is now on an equal plane with the other doors and the tops of the doors are the same that's good as well now if let's say one of these doors was too high or too low you can simply loosen there's a screw right in the middle of this this hole here now this is a manual adjustment you would loosen this screw on, on this hinge and the same screw on the bottom hinge. And then you would just manually lift the door up or down as necessary to make the tops nice and even. Hey, I hope that video helped you out. As you can see, adjusting cabinets is really easy. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and we'll see you next time.